those of you who bless yourself, uh, you feel like God is taking too long. You feel like you're tired of waiting. And so you kind of bless yourself and really you're frustrated. And But you can't say that because you know that you blessed yourself. And um, it, it's, uh, it's not funny, but it's a little funny, a little bit. Sorry. Um, I, I've heard girls talk about, you know, somebody that God blessed them with, but you have to monitor everything that they do. You go to a girl's event, there's, they got to sit there right by your side and there's no men there, just your man because you want to keep him safe to make sure he's not doing anything. That God didn't bless you, sis. You just did that to yourself. Or you take a job because you want to make this money, but you weren't prepared for the job. So you're stressed out by the job, overwhelmed by the job because you wanted to bless yourself. Make sure that the blessings that you say are yours really came from the from God and not from Satan himself, you know. Stop confessing that God sent you somebody and really you were lonely and you just accepted anything and you're not really happy. So you're just being content with it. Don't let the enemy trick you that way. Don't don't get in circles because you feel like it'll make you feel better about yourself and that God didn't plant you there. That's not your assigned place. You're going to church because you're really enamored with the pastor, not because you're actually being changed. You're just a fan. And so you plant yourself there and then you're upset because you're not on a board or a ministry because really you went there to make a friend and you didn't go to the church to really be fed, to be pastored by the leader. Make sure you ain't trying to bless yourself because of what you want. Um, it, it's it's really dangerous when um, your motivation is seeing other people. Oh, I want that. Oh, I like that. Oh, I'm going to try to do that. Oh, I want it. Oh, that would be cool if I did that. That's envy. That's jealousy. That's wanting someone else's blessing. God has something perfectly designed for you. You don't have to desire other people's stuff. You don't have to make it up, conjure it up, you know, put it, put the pieces together and say, oh, it looks wonderful. And really, it looks awful because you tried to bless yourself. I'm telling you, God has not forgotten about you. Just be patient. Don't mess up and try to put your own things in place when God has something wonderful for you. Just be patient. Keep listening. Keep following. Uh, go through the test. You can't avoid the test. You can't avoid the training. You can't avoid the discipline. You've got to go through it. So as you go through it, you stay in faith. You stay in hope, trusting God, believing that God has something great for you. And don't get in the dangerous space of trying to bless yourself, trying to do it yourself. The enemy will manipulate that with your emotions every, every time. And then you'll be fasting and praying on something that all you really have to do is cut off and let go. Don't waste time praying and ask God to take it away when God never gave it to you in the first place. You really just should lay it down, you know, and trust me, I, ask me why I know, because I understand this full and well. Oh, this is God's blessing, guys. I'm doing, look what God is. Well, hey, everybody, look at what God is doing. I mean, God didn't do it. You did it. And you're really not as happy as you're pretending. But you feel like if I have this, this equals happiness. I only want what God wants for me. I only need to be around people who God has for me. I don't need to force myself into circles. I don't need to force myself into anybody's anything if God didn't put me there. I'm only walking through doors that God opened for me. And I suggest you do the same, right? That is my archaism for the day. Love you. And I mean it. I promise I do. I meant all of that in love.